Begin by getting comfortable in your body. Find a position that feels comfortable for you right now. Maybe it's sitting in a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, allow your body to get comfortable. It's okay to feel comfortable when you meditate. And this is especially useful for the genre of practice that involves the heart. So allow yourself to get comfortable. And check in with your body, noticing if there's any muscular tension that's present for you at this time. Briefly scan your body, looking for tightness or tension that's held anywhere in your body. Maybe your jaw or your shoulders or your arms, your hands your thighs, your calves, your feet. If you notice muscular tension present anywhere in your body, gently invite that tension to relax, to loosen, to let go. Those muscles may or may not be willing to relax, but you can invite them to do so. Relax your body. And if you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Just a simple smile. Not a huge grin. Just smiling. using your mouth to smile, inclines your emotional body towards happiness. Of course, it's possible that this might feel uncomfortable. If that's the case, you don't have to do it. And in general, with this practice, or really any guided meditation, you get to decide whether and how you want to follow the instructions. Feel free to adapt them to meet your needs and preferences. You know what's best for you.
Notice what this feels like in your body to be comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. If these qualities that you've cultivated feel good, take a moment to notice that and really enjoy it. To savor this positive, pleasant feeling of being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. This pleasure may be small, but taking the time to really enjoy it allows you to delight in it fully. So really enjoy it. Continue to maintain these qualities in your body. We begin to involve the mind. Consider if there's anything that you'd like to say to yourself that might be kind or loving or supportive. Perhaps a compliment or something reassuring? Is there anything sweet you're, you could say to yourself with words in your mind? If so, say that to yourself now. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind. Whatever it is that you find loving to say to yourself at this time. You can say the same thing to yourself repeatedly. Or say many different things. In any case, use mental talk to be loving to yourself.
And again, to whatever extent this exercise makes you feel good in your body, if you feel this love for yourself by being kind to yourself in words, allow yourself to notice that and really enjoy it. You deserve to enjoy your own love. Very good. Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to love. Your easy to love person or animal, whoever that is for you. This could be a friend or family member, a small child or a pet, even a fictional character. Someone who you love in a relatively uncomplicated way. You care about them and love them and want them to be happy. Consider who that might be for you. And bring them to mind. See if you can cultivate love for them in whatever way feels good for you. You could continue to use mental talk, saying phrases like, I love you, or I care about you, or I want you to be happy, or perhaps a phrase that's particular to this person and your relationship with them. You could also use visual imagery, remembering a happy memory that you shared or simply visualizing them being happy, perhaps smiling or laughing or dancing or playing. And there's another option you could just simply directly connect to feelings of love in your emotional body in the heart, just feeling love for this person. You get to decide how to practice using whatever method feels familiar or easy or interesting for you. In any case, cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal. If you're using mental talk, hear the phrases in your mind. If you're using images, see them. If you're using emotions, feel them. However you're practicing, cultivate love.
continue to cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal for another moment. Very good. Now, reflect on the practice so far. If any of these methods have given rise to bodily sensations of pleasure or love or warmth, any kind of positive feeling in the body, notice that. Perhaps you've connected to a sense of comfort or relaxation or the happiness of smiling or a sense of self-love or love for your easy to love person or animal. If any of these qualities have emerged in your experience. See if you can connect to those qualities now. Primarily in the body. Become aware of one or more of these positive qualities in the body and allow them to grow. Turns out that simply being aware of these qualities allows them to increase and grow, and grow especially when we notice and enjoy them. See if you can allow that process to unfold at this time.
connect to this love in your body and allow it to grow. Again, to whatever extent you notice this love in your body, that it's present and perhaps even growing, allow yourself to really enjoy it. Knowing that enjoying this positivity in the body is the key ingredient for growing it. Thank you. 
Very good. Now, consider if there's some way that you might allow this love to manifest in your life as an act of kindness. Some particular way that this love might want to manifest for the benefit of you and the other people in your life. Is there something kind that you could do in the near future that would express this love? Consider if there's something like that that you might feel called or inspired to do and set the intention to do it. Feelings of love and care find their fulfillment in acts of kindness for the benefit of others. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs>